Hello, my country people then. I want to start this live broadcast by first apologizing, say, I come about uh, three or four minutes late. Yes, I want to thank all my country people the way they join. Say, as I join, when I know the usual routine, when I share my country people, when I continue for the share, when I continue the live. Yes. So, today, now Tuesday, the 6th of October, 2020, as I join, Mr. Genesis, I see you. As I join, when I continue for do what you do best, when I share and far and wide, I will get a very interesting presentation for Una today. I see you, uh, Kerr Darling, on a Sir Darling, on a how they pronounce them, and Tangana Gabriel, I see you, Usman CM. When I join, when I share and I contribute them, when I contribute them, they come. We'll get a very interesting presentation today where we will talk about. Yeah, we'll talk about the um, United Nations Resolution 1608. Yes. Danny Prince, I see you. If we now get questions, um, today I did for house. I did do this live broadcast now for house. So I go fit answer when I question them. So when I make sure say when I present when I question them. When I post them in the comment section, as we give the presentation, they go. Right. The resolution, 1608. Now, one of those things in that one I don't hear, Amber fools them, they spread them all over the place. They talk about, eh, 1961, resolution 1608, 1961. Man of it dream water from this Amber fools them about this resolution 1608. So today... Who can't, who can't talk about them? I don't really talk about this resolution 1608 before, but some person draw my attention to the whole chapter again because it see it tell me say it they like say why people they never learn, and we need to educate them more about this resolution 1608 because of the misinformation, the manipulation, the fake news where it don't spread out there on social media. It be very important for we for do this presentation again. For explain everything that you need for know about this United Nations Resolution 1608. We will talk about them today. And I will also give you my own, um, <clears throat> my own thoughts, opinions, and conclusion at the end. But more now, make sure when I continue for the share the message far and wide. Make all our country people that gather. When I share them for WhatsApp, for YouTube, for Twitter, everywhere. And you where you get the, um, you get the means. What are now for WhatsApp? I will copy the link. You drop them into the WhatsApp groups and me will contribute them. Make all the black legs and make them assemble. My country people them. When I know say me where they talk so, I've been at the Kumkumasa. So we we'll know if we continue, go far without playing the Kumkum anthem. When I listen. Hail, hail, hail the Kumkumasa. We the Cameroonians we pledge our loyalty. Kum kumasa, kum kumasa, you shall free our country from terror. And your blessing shall be like the stars above. The most high God shall be your guide. Thank you plenty my country people them. Once again, today, now Tuesday, the 6th of October 2020, and we don't always hear these people the way they call themselves Amazonians. They tell we about uh, United Nations, United Nations, Resolution 1608, Resolution 1608. Today we will discuss that Resolution 1608. They tell you about how um, you don't even know your history. You don't even know your history. Today we will talk about that history. I will talk about that history today for Unama country people then. But before we go far, when I know say Cameroon it be one and indivisible. Una listen.
Thank you plenty my country people them. Once again, for when we are just join na join. Today, na Tuesday, the 6th day of October 2020, and me where the talk so, I've been at the Kumkumasa, the king of all the black legs. So my country people them, we don't always hear these were brothers where they call themselves Ambazonians. They tell we about this United Nations Resolution 1608, Resolution 1608. They talk about the so-called independence of the Southern Cameroons and all of those things then. Today, I can't, I can't tell you the true history, which we will not need for no as Anglophone Cameroonians them. We will not need for no about our history. So make no man a no fool you for tell you about a different part of history. Many people, the way they talk about this resolution 1608, many of them never ever read them. And the few people, the way they don't read them, they, they can't misinterpret them, they, they can't fool them. With some thing where it not actually there inside the resolution. I go show you now. We have to go download the resolution today. How for download them? How for <clears throat> process the information with the inside? And I, I I encourage every single person make it go download the resolution and read them for itself. But before I want to continue, I hope say so many of you now don't see this map before. Many of you now feel recognize the, these maps where the day on our screens right now. So I hope so. Now see and fine fine, right? This one's them that the variable or the varying differences them between the map of Cameroon. Maybe we start that history where these amber fools that always try for talk ham, but they need ever talk wa full history because they deny for for recognizing it is so. Wa history it no be start for 1961. They always try for hide the fact say it is so. Wa history go way back. Before even the Europeans that come inside Africa, they no one tell with that one. They want only start the history from 1961, but we say no because for this blue flag on the for year, you know, at the end of the era, that the only one start with history now from this green section, the bottom one. But I go tell you now about these three top ones them first. So, when I wait, when I feel see them on our screens, fine. When I see this map to the left, this first one, so now so they spell Cameroon with a K. First of all, the, the word Cameroon, it comes from the river of prawns, when a river Wuri, where the first Europeans, the way they become inside Africa, they actually come on Portugal. So the, the Portuguese word called river of prawns, river Wuri, where they translate them to Rios dos Cameros. So they remove that Rios dos, they just put Cameros. And uh, over the decades, the Germans, they come, the, the English and the, and the French and, and the rest, them, they just decide for, for shortening them. Instead of the right, Rios dos Cameros, they just write Cameroon, as the Germans, they spell them, with a K and with a U for day. And then now, so now, when I feel understand, say Cameroon, it be been the only German controlled territory in Central Africa by 1901. We'll just start the history. From 1901, because in order for explain this thing, the moon understand about the United Nations resolution. I get for taking back to 1901. So now, so they spell Cameroon. Me want understand that one with a K, and this one now the map of Cameroon. That so now see at that time Chad it been a French uh, territory, and then that one will be a today Central Africa Republic. They call it now Obangi Shari. Now also French controlled territory. And then you get the Middle Congo, also French. And then you get Gabon to the south, also French. And then you get this small country for here, where, where it be in Equatorial Guinea today, where it be been under the Spanish control. And then to the to the west of Cameroon, you will get the southern Nigeria under the UK and the um northern Nigeria under the UK. So that one now 1901 to 1911. So my country people then, where to where it be happened? For 1911, maybe I tell you the real story for the people the way the deaf here, where they don't really know their own history. I go tell you the history, my country. Muna, no worry. Okay, my tell you why way that map it change. So now, when I see this part where it did like say Cameroon, it don't carry belle. My explain for now where did that belle where it did for that Cameroon flag, Cameroon map. When I see no, now the Cameroon this by 1911. That Cameroon with a K, it don't carry Bele. Now, so so German territory. But now, now, if that, that Bele we carry them, they be called and say, with it, New Cameroon. That New Cameroon, it, 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 it come now from 1911 only. For 4th of November 1911, what it happened before the German territory expand, enter inside the French controlled uh, Central African region? 
My explain for now, which will be happening at 70. That one it even start now from Morocco. So, new Cameroon, it been a, um, because France and Germany, they be fight over control of Morocco. Okay, okay, Morocco. And then now, for 1911, they agree, they get a consensus between the French and the Germans. So they uh, uh, say it is so France, it will take over control of Morocco 100%. Meanwhile, France, it will, says, it will cede some of the territory for Central Africa, it give Germany. So now, due to that agreement, France, it continue for the control of Morocco, and then France, it can carve this part of Africa, it add them to the current Cameroon territory. And then now the Germans, they call that area, say what it is, say, New Cameroon. Now, now, now what that for new in, in, in Deutschland, when a German country talk? So they make them, they join a New Cameroon. So now, why the area, say, New Cameroon, it changed for 1916? When I don't forget, say, they so, i go back in order for explain that for now. For 1914, we get which way they call and say, World War I, the first World War. World War One from 1914 to 1918. So what will be happen for World War One? I say some jacka, some some guy be there where he name be there na Franz Ferdinand, and he be been at the heir to the throne of Austria, Austria Hungary. So now this guy Franz Ferdinand, when he be next in line to the throne of Austria Hungary kingdom, he be be assassinated by a young Serbian guy. That young Serbian guy, I think he be only been a 19 year old. He killed that uh, prince of Austria Hungary. And then, as a result of that, Austria Hungary it declared war against Serbia. Muna yet to Rio, na na two na two countries and now they fight them. Austria Hungary when a kingdom, they don't kill their prince for Serbia. Serbia now here and Austria Hungary they get small domo. For that small domo now, Austria Hungary it call it parliament them. It say hello Germany. Germany say hello Austria Hungary. And then they say parliament I get below with Serbia when I can't help we. So now Germany say hello Italy. It did so what Padiman Austria Hungary it get problem. Me I go help them. Can't help me too. So now where Germany, Italy, and Austria Hungary, they get domona, they refight now against Serbia. Serbia too, it take its own phone, it call it own Padiman them, it say Hello England, Britain and France. Britain and France say, hey, when I get domo, we can't can help one too because we will Padiman them. Now a game of interest. So now where that domo it come on now, a, a domo will come up between Serbia and Austria Hungary. It don't turn now a domo between Serbia, Germany, Italy. I mean uh, Hungary, um, Austria Hungary, Germany and Italy versus Serbia, Britain and France. Now they don't declare war amongst themselves now. So the war is starting to increase the goal. All man they don't start to enter inside. Four years, one pass now, estimated about between 30 to 100 million people. They don't die. They don't compromise between 30 and 100 million people then from that violence and famine and disease, including the Spanish flu, when a pandemic, just like the coronavirus, where we get them today. No person, no even talk the exact number of people the way they die because they wait. Because the people that die come back kind of way. So now they just estimate it between 30 to 100 million people then fip the wipe them between within four years between 1914 and 1918. So now what did it happen for First World War? So now we during that first world war, when I feel see I'm now see it is so between 1914 and 1918, we'll be there at war. But two years into the war, by 1916, now we now, as we don't really tell now, Germany it will fight for Austria-Hungary side with Italy. Britain and France, they fight for that other side with Serbia. So now, Britain and France, they see opportunity now. And as France, it be give that territory to New Cameroon, of New Cameroon for joint Germany. They don't be like them. They don't be like them. They want control because the way Africa be be ripe with raw materials. And come a kind thing the way they can't, they can't rape them. So now, they, they be still get one eye for that territory. So as soon as that war broke out, they take the opportunity now. They invade that, that, that new Cameroon. By 1916, they take them over, join them again now with French Equatorial Africa. So now, what did that will happen now? Why that with that new Cameroon? It only exists to 1916. So now, my country people, then, in order to continue, when I get for understand, say, when I get for understand, say, now, the map it changed now for 1919, officially. Because say that war it ends for 1918. So now for 1919, 
at the end of the First World War, now for the first time that way, this Anglophone part of Cameroon will be created. For 1919, now for that our hala start. Now the first time that way we get now, that new Cameroon don't disappear, it enter inside the French Equatorial Africa. Now, now our Cameroon is like the uh, ordinary modern day Cameroon that we know today now. Now, the British and the French, now they decide now we can't divide our, our territory now amongst themselves. Now, anyway, this side will be red, so it be now the British Southern Cameroon's that and the Northern British Northern Cameroon's that. Then now, uh, France, it control this other bigger part where it be in blue. Now, for the very first time that 1919, we will get that, that map now, now the Cameroon that. Okay, now. I will come. My, my explanation for now, I know it will take too long. Before I want to, if I may understand the root of this thing, before we can talk about the actual United Nations, I will come. So now, when I feel understand another thing, my country people, they might get out of this because when I don't know this, man. when I feel understand that one, I don't explain it now. Something with their way, I, I don't know what I want to still remember them, where they call and say the League of Nations. So when I feel understand, my explain for now, where the League of Nations be? be? Say, the League of Nations be being an international organization will be founded after the Paris Peace Conference for 1919. The League's goal, the League of Nations, their goal, their mission, their objective, their agenda be be now it be, be now for the disarmament and also preventing war through collective security, settling disputes between countries through negotiation, diplomacy, and improving global welfare. So it be important for not say this. So the United States of America it be denied for ratify the con the covenant from the Paris Peace Conference that created the, the League of Nations. America deny it for sign for ratify that peace uh, uh, that uh, creation of the United of the League of Nations. America not be part of it. So now where to where we we'll get for things that say what if America be been a part of the the League of Nations? Maybe things will uh, be different. Okay. We now also get for understand say now the League of Nations now. For 1922, if I'm not mistaken, they be give this war territory, this Cameroon territory now as which way they be called and say uh, League of Nations uh, Protectorate or, or something like that. Yes. Uh which be the word where they be give them again, eh? Anyways, we'll come to that. If I remember, I go tell you now. So that League of Nations now, as I don't tell you now, it will be created for uh, for uh, do disarmament, preventing war through collective security, settling disputes, and and all of that uh, between countries. Then, because they be seeing and say, "Hey, they so when all these countries, you know, the German Empire, the British Empire, the French Empire, the Portuguese, and all man for Europe, if you want, she will say, get small gum. If you want, she say, no one for pound, you own small gum, gum. Go get other people there. You know, hospitality or so called hostility, it be plenty around that time. So now the League of Nations become now for try to address that issue for make sure they make country don't also go for war. Because after the first world war, where I tell you now, say close to 100 million people they die, different countries now they come together and say this. So no, we no fit get this kind of situation to happen. May it begin to happen for our country or for this our, our world because it could destroy the world. So now why did they come up with the League of Nations? But now. The League of Nations be created just after the Second World War. The, 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 I mean the First World War. The First World War will end for 1918. By 1938, man, tell me what will happen. Why were the League of Nations in the war? For 1938. By that time, a young German uh, 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 idiot, man, show me a picture. Now in that. That particular man, so he be responsible for the death of more than 100 million people. He name na Adolf Hitler. I sure say some of many of don't hear this guy name. Yes, Adolf Hitler. Okay, Adolf Hitler don't climb now to position of power for Germany. What he do? He come out, chaka 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 chaka. He go enter inside Austria. He annex him. He take Austria, put an under part of Germany. He say Austria now a part of Germany. Okay, Germany now he don't do work now around the fine palaver. The League of Nations he don't get power for do anything. The League of Nations she don't need the watcher. So now, by 1st of September 1939, what did German, Germany they do again? So now, 1st of September 1939, the Second World War officially started. When we Germany it invade Poland and subsequently the declarations of war by Germany, you know, on Germany by France. So now the Fr French and the, and the British, they say, they say, what? Hey, hey, cousin Germany, how you could do me like this? 
How you go just go come out, you go and next Austria. We we'll no talk, we should not be quiet. You come out again, you go and next Poland. Wait, me say this so, and when he annex that country, it could take over his army, take over their economy, take over their machinery, take over their resources now, it continue to build a war machine to go. German, Germany and France, they see and say this so, if they leave them, Germany, I mean, France and United Kingdom, they see and say, if they leave them, Germany, it continue for the annex different countries that they go, it could become too powerful for them to stop them. So now where they declare war against Germany by 1939. Now, America, if you support uh, 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 United Kingdom and Great Britain, behind the scenes, they not be officially there inside that war. Inside that war. Meanwhile, Germany, it formed an alliance with Japan and Italy. Moon, I understand, like I don't tell when I say it, it is so. The friend of my enemy is my enemy. And the friend or the enemy of my enemy is my friend. So now, at that time, Japan, it began interest too for, for that side for, for Asia. It won't take over China and other territories that are in the Pacific. Italy, to be gay, only one show is Mong Gumba. Italy and Japan, they join forces with Germany now for fight the other, uh, 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 the, the allied forces them. So now you get, you know, you want to understand, say, the United Kingdom, obviously now kingdom, the queen or the king of the United Kingdom at that time. It will also be now, now the king of Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and other British Empire and other countries them. So now all of them now, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and the whole British Empire, they support the United Kingdom, both in manpower, personnel, and in other forces. So now, it's been inside the British Cameroons, more than 3,500 people them, they will recruit and they join the British army for go fight, for defend the British, for liberate them from the, from the German invasions. So now, if you also understand, say, it is so, they be also donate money, gifts, raw materials them. They provide them from Africa and other territories them. Millions of Africans, they fight around the world for defend the British Empire and, and, and the French Empire in that war effort. Okay, but before I want to go, me me I tell you now one thing will be happen, eh? Say it is so, Germany, it be, it be strong. I don't go lie, Una. Those guys, um, Adolf Hitler, be strong because they take over Austria, they take over Poland, they take over Denmark, they take over Norway, they take over Belgium, Ukraine, Holland, Luxembourg, Yugoslavia, Lithuania, Greece, and of course they take over France. Yes, Germany it invade France and it take over France, it take over Paris, it hoist the German um, Nazi flag. For Paris, take over Paris. Now Germany do do that one so. My country people, Germany be they be get better strong Ngumba. Eh? Germany be the pound better. Now what is self the top and for Germany? I want I want to say Hagendas. <laughs> Actually Hagendas, na American company. So Germany, yes, hot dogs on the sausages, yes. Germany, they prepare better sausages. They take them all over the world, all over Europe. And even for Africa, inside Africa, they be control, They take over Egypt, Libya, Tunisia. Yes, they seize them over from the British. Now, what is Germany be strong. They be get better sausages the way they work and distribute them for all man. The British, they say, what? They bring their own too. Fish and chips. They work and spray them. The French, they say, what? To Nekonepa Escargo, they bring their own escargo. They work as prey and escargo, no work at plenty because Nanyamangoro. So Germans they take over France. That is what happened. Mm -hmm. The mistake to uh, Germany to be make an activity. They try to invade the USSR. <laughs> Russian people they say, What? We will know the job with that man with the drink now a four four whiskey. Where they call and say vodka. Now you they bring them to that party. Yes, and one of the reasons that way Germany fall because the temper with the USSR, USSR, it, it lose more than 16 million soldiers for that war alone. Yes, anyways, my country people, wait a wait for that same second world war. Moon, I understand, say America, they say, What eh, we'll get bogus, we'll get bogus, eh. We we'll get bogus too now, so they give bogus for back back door for support the United Kingdom, but they nobody officially enter that war. And then what did Japan do? What did Japan do? Japan it carry its own sushi. When I know say Japan they chop na sushi, raw fish. They carry sushi. They carry them for helicopter on na for plane. They go for America, wait where they call and say Pearl Harbor. They go drop sushi. When I take one sushi, two sushi, three sushi, they drop them. 
Sushi, sushi, su sushi everywhere. America say what? When I give you sushi, we go show on the hamburgers. They carry hamburgers. They go now for who's away they call them for Japan, say Hiroshima and Nagasaki. That hamburger no be easy. They call and say what nuclear bomb. They go drop two nuclear bombs for Nagasaki and Hiroshima. Now for the Japan say wonders. This burger where we can't deliver them for we so we cannot swallow it all, with or without soup. We cannot swallow this burger. Japan is surrender. Not long after that. But before Japan was surrender, they be invade China. They take over a lot of Pacific Islands them. Invade China. They fight China for that side. So in the second world in the second world that boom, 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 people they die die anyhow. Okay? More than 70 million people them. They be compromised. And I know when they ask me, say, what did Spain be do for, own for, for, second, uh, for, for that war? For that second world war, Spain, if you just come out from me, own, after they get the Spanish flu, the, plenty of people they die, they get their own civil war. As their own civil war, they go, Spain, they just talk to Ogasa. Me, we don't even get with chop for chop. That's more paella where we decide to make and cook and so. Even rice, no day for make paella. So we need to come in for that on our party. So now, why does Spain, if it decide to remain neutral for second world war? Because it's rice, it no be day. Now, the real reason that. So now, my country people, them, clearly, the League of Nations, where they be create them, say, make a, a try to reduce the conflicts them around the world. It be fail. Because in the, in the height of the Second World War, where they get a raging war going, people, they realize it is so. This League of Nations will be create them for stop medical carnage. It not happen for this planet again. But right now, so millions of people, they die every day. So the League of Nations, it don't become redundant. It no work. It no, it no, it no do its job. Because even America be denying for, for ratify that treaty, that agreement. So while the war was still going on, countries them plenty, about 50 of them in number, they be the work behind the scenes for create, which way it will replace the League of Nations. And they call them, say, wait, they call them, say, the United Nations. So now by the end of the Second World War, now on the 24th of October, 1945, the United Nations it become officially into existence after we about 50 countries them the meet of america for draw away what they call them say the, the united nations charter so now the cameroons they become now what they call and say trust territories under the united nations charter maybe we not understand that one so when i talk to the cameroons now understand the three cameroons what i mean la republic du cameroon as we know today the former northern british cameroons and the former southern or the British Southern Cameroons. Now the Cameroons in Dawa, I mean, they become what they call and say, United Nations Trust Territories, where they will be administered through the United Nations Trust, uh, Trusteeship Council. And the objective, uh, or the objective of the trusteeship will it be being for prepare these countries them, like uh, British Southern, British Northern, and, and, and the La Republic of Cameroon, for their eventual independence, the United Nations it will provide the trusteeship agreement for Britain, for Cameroon, make it govern the British Northern Cameroons and the British Southern Cameroons. Actually, make it go govern the British Cameroons. And then at the British, they, they divide them. We want to understand, say, now one trusteeship agreement where the United Kingdom it will get them with the British Cameroons. Now one agreement, no be two. Now the United Kingdom now, they take that territory, now they divide them into the Northern Cameroons and the Southern Cameroons. And that one be happened now for December 1946, after the creation of the United Nations. So now, if I'm saying, if the United Nations itself, when I go for their website, it talks about their number one goal now for bring peace, dignity, and equality on a healthy planet. So their mission, it don't change over the years. So now they don't add that part to a healthy planet. But the most important reason why they create the United Nations now for bring peace. Because they know be one made that wahala World War One or World War Two or World, War, they know be one another World War Three. Because even one of the greatest scientists be tell them say, World War Three they go fight on our nuclear bombs, and World War Four no it talks say World War Three it no know what they go fight them with, but it no say World War Four we go fight on our sticks and stones. Why be talk that one? Because it's here the advancement of technology and weapons on this planet it don't become so advanced. To the way where if you go, if you get another world war, it will end the world. It will bring the world back to the stone ages where we will fight the next world war. World war number four, we will fight and our sticks and stones. Now, what's that way be mean? So now, clearly, the fact that the second world war be happen, it means that the League of Nations don't fail. They don't create now the United Nations. Now, we will go now 
I don't give one at the introduction. Now we feel rich now. Now we know how they can create the United Nations from the League of Nations and how Cameroon, the territory, it go from the League of Nations, uh, um, a League of Nations mandate to uh, the tr trusty United Nations trusteeship. Now if you go now, for go explain for one where to where it happened for 1961 for with the United Nations resolution 1608. Any person, when I see I'm on our screens, now that you are uh, link that, for you where you want to go download the document, the original document, go for there, you go download and use yourself. Or you go for there where it talks about it. Just go to Google and enter UN resolution 1608, 21 April 1961, for instance. You click search and it will bring one to this man ma load the actual man load the actual uh, uh, website for now. This one is United Nations General Assembly. And if you go to bullet point number 12, if you go to bullet point number 12 for this list, you will see the mention Cameroon. Okay? You will see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10. Uh, which is this one? Which is this one right here? The future of the trust territory of the Cameroons under United Kingdom administration, 1961. Now, now, in that, if you select that one, man, show and phone. I don't already prepare and phone. It go load this document where I go read and phone very soon. So now the link that usa where you go for go get the original document. I encourage every person make it go try and make it go read them. So now my country people them. Now the actual document this. Where the United Nations uh, General Assembly, it be said, in 1961, where they be drawn up. This document, I call them saying, now the marriage certificate of La Republic du Cameroon and the former Southern Cameroons. Now the marriage certificate, now the marriage certificate is of what they call them West Cameroon. And East Cameroon. Now the authentic original document this. And I will read them for una. Una bear with me. Make me unload the PDF version of the document. Now in this. I don't I don't write on top. I only select na 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 the part because you also get resolution 1607 and resolution 1609 and the rest attached to this part of it. So now I only take I don't take that part way, it only contain the details about the future of the trust territory of the Cameroons under United Kingdom administration. Now here we are agreed for now. So now, now listen. They say the General Assembly, recalling its resolution 1350 of 13th of March 1959, concerning the future of the trust territory of the Cameroons under the United Kingdom administration, in which the General Assembly recommended into earlier that the, administri the administering authority take steps in consultation with the United Nations Plebiscite Commissioner for the Cameroons under United Kingdom administration to organize, under the supervision of the United Nations, separate plebiscites in the northern and the southern parts of the Cameroons under United Kingdom administration in order to ascertain the wishes of the inhabitants of the territory concerning their future and that the plebiscite in the northern Cameroons be held about the middle of November 1959 on the basis of the two questions set out in paragraph 2 of the said or the said resolution. Okay, my country people then. I hope so that one will be clear. No now baby big grammar where people don't understand them. Any person who feel read English, it go understand this resolution. So now they continue. They say. Recalling its resolution 1352 of 16th October 1959, whereby it decided in Talia that a plebiscite in the southern Cameroons would be held between 30th September 1960 and March 1961 on the basis of the two questions set forth in paragraph 2 of the said resolution. Okay. 30th between, they said they would hold plebiscite in the southern Cameroons between 30th of September. 1960 and March 1961. In fact, the plebiscite was actually held on the 11th of February 1961. We'll come to that. Recalling further its resolution 1473 of the 12th of December 1959, which the General Assembly, having considered the results of the plebiscite in the northern parts of the Cameroons under United Kingdom administration, recommended the organization 
or by the administering authority in consultation with the United Nations Plebiscite Commissioner of a further plebiscite to be held in the Northern Cameroons under United Nations supervision between the 30th of September 1960 and March of 1961. On the basis of the two questions defined in paragraph 3 of the said resolution. When I remember, they keep saying the two questions, the two questions. There was never a third option. Now, United Nations document this. So now, I will read another document where it will explain for when I wait where they talk here about a plebiscite in the northern part of Cameroon that was already held. They are recommending another plebiscite in consultation with the U U United Nations Plebiscite Commissioner for a further plebiscite to be held in the Northern Cameroons. I will explain for you now why the Northern Cameroons will get two plebiscites. And I, and I will read another document for you for explaining for you now. And I will say, having examined the report of the United Nations Plebiscite Commissioner concerning the two plebiscites held in the Northern and the Southern Cameroons in February 1961, yes, now I tell you now, they behold plebiscites in the Northern and the Southern Cameroons in February 1961, now the 11th of February, that they talk about, and the report of the trusteeship council thereon, having heard the petitioners, so they don't hear the petitioners them, and who were the petitioners them? You get John Goodfuncher and Endele. So now, now the, <coughs> una, excuse me, my drink water. So now, Having heard the petitioners, now the resolutions in this way the United Nations don't come with. Part one, they say, the UN it express its high appreciation of the work of the United Nations Plebiscite Commissioner for the Cameroons under the UK administration and his staff. They, they actually thank this uh, pa, uh, um, Plebiscite Commissioner for the work we do for the Cameroons and his staff. Okay. Part two, they say the United Nations endorses the results of the plebiscite that A, the people of the Northern Cameroons have, by a, a substantial majority, decided to achieve independence by. My show now again. The people of the Northern Cameroons have, by a substantial majority, decided to achieve independence by joining the Independent Federation of Nigeria. The United Nations, they endorse that result. And then part B, now we, Southern Cameroons, say, the people of the Southern Cameroons have similarly decided to achieve independence by joining the Independent Republic of Cameroon. Now, United Nations talk. No, me, me, I talk. They endorse that result of the plebiscites. Say, while grandpa them, they vote for join Cameroon, for gain their independence by joining. Okay. Part three, they also say, see, the United Nations considers that the people of the two parts of the trust territory having freely and secretly expressed their wishes with regard to their respective futures in accordance with General Assembly Resolution 1352 and 1473, the decisions made by them through democratic processes under the supervision of the United Nations should be immediately implemented. Now, United Nations talk. Say me the implementer. Make uh, the British Southern Cameroons that join La Republique, La Republique du Cameroon gain their independence by joining. And then the British Northern Cameroons, they gain their independence by joining the Federation of Nigeria. Then now, the United Nations, it decides that the plebiscites having been taken separately with differing results, the trusteeship agreement of the 13th of December 1946, like I now, the, now, December 1946, where the United Kingdom, it will get the trusteeship agreement. It will be a, a trusteeship agreement with the United Nations. That trusteeship agreement of December 1946, concerning the Cameroons under United Kingdom administration, shall be terminated in accordance with Article 76B of the Charter of the United Nations 
and in agreement with the administering authority in the following manner. So they could terminate the UK trusteeship agreement with Cameroon on a uh, uh, trusteeship over Cameroon in the following manner. A. With respect to the Northern Cameroons, on the 1st of June 1961, upon its joining of Federation of Nigeria as a separate province of the Northern region of Nigeria. So now, on the 1st of June 1961, that region, the Northern Cameroons, they joined Nigeria as a separate province. When I hear how they call Tokam, as a separate province of the northern region of Nigeria. I will come to that. When they talk about, uh, say, uh, assimilation and all of that, I'll come to that. Part B, they say, with respect to the southern Cameroons, on the 1st of October 1961, upon its joining the Republic of Cameroon. So now here, now the United Nations, that it talks, say, on the 1st of October 1961, now for day now, these Amber Fools, they said that they celebrate the 1st of October 1961. Said that they celebrate their independence. Their independence, according to the United Nations, was on the 1st of October 1961, upon its joining the Republic of Cameroon. There was no such thing as an independent Southern Cameroon. Never existed. Okay? Now, if the so-called British Southern Cameroons they want to celebrate the 1st of October 1961 as their so-called Independence Day. So the British Northern Cameroons, they go celebrate on the 1st of June 1961 as their own Independence Day. No be so. I don't tell you now. Resolution 1608. You cannot divide uh, Cameroon without dividing Nigeria. You cannot. Now exactly the same document as they talk part A, Northern Cameroons, part B, Southern Cameroons. As they talk for up here, Part A, Northern Cameroons. Part B, Southern Cameroons. For the same resolution, the same decision, the same endorsement, the same expressing of high appreciation, the same examination. They say, having examined the report, blah, 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 blah. We express this. We endorse the result. Yes? We consider that. Da, 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 da. We decide that part A, Northern Cameroons. Go join Nigeria. Oh, yeah? Get independence. Southern Cameroons, oh yeah, 1st of October 1961, go join the British Cameroon, gain your independence. And that decision, now today, it terminate the trusteeship agreement with Nigeria. Um, the trusteeship agreement with the United Kingdom. Now in that. And then part 5, they say, wait, they invite the administering authority when the United, King, the United Kingdom, the government of the Southern Cameroons and the Republic of Cameroon to initiate urgent discussions with a view to finalize before the 1st of October 1961 the arrangements by which the agreed and declared policies of the parties concerned will be implemented. So now here, part five, it only concerns now British Southern Cameroons, the former territory. Now part five that because by this time, as the first of June, it came 1961. The northern part of Nigeria, where they be already the ruled them, Britain be take the British Cameroons, it just attach them to Nigeria, rule them like a, a part of Nigeria. It no be rule them like they be rule Nigeria from London. No, they be just attach them as a part of Nigeria and then rule them from Nigeria and then Nigeria was then ruled from 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 London. Make we understand that one. So now they deal that, but so now because say, the British Southern Cameroons they be resist that rule from Nigeria at one point they be even withdraw themselves from the Enugu Parliament or something like that. So now now we talk to me the Brit Britain the administering authority the government of the British Southern Cameroons when Afoncha and the rest and the Republic of Cameroon when Aijo they need for shut down with urgent discussions for discuss and finalize before the first of October how they could manage that new country where they could create them and now for there now. If the United Kingdom, if we get anything for talk for our behalf, if we go, go talk on for day. If they want to fight on our behalf, they will go fight now for, now for day. For draft the constitution and all of those things then. But they nobody care. When I understand that they nobody care about we. They pack their cargo. They be want for terminate this trusteeship agreement as soon as possible. For watch their hand come out. Because empire be don't fail. Empire, nobody, nobody bring the money anymore. They be one for give these small, small countries, them or whatever, independence as fast as possible. 
after they don't go through World War One, World War Two, they will be more interested for develop or build their own economies them, for build their own countries them, and they will see say ways they could they where they fist the gain from the territories them overseas, but they don't need for the for 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 the babysit them. They will get rid of we as fast as possible. They don't be care. So now anyway now. The, so, the former British Southern Cameroons, it become West Cameroon. And the former La Republic of Cameroon, it become East Cameroon. We come together now for form way to way. You call them the Federal Republic of Cameroon. Now for the now, if you see and say, we'll get this one. This country now. From 1st of June... From 1st of June 1961, now for day this part for Northern Cameroon, Northern, uh, the uh, former uh, British Northern Cameroons, it disappeared. It, it formed, it joined enter Nigeria. That one, it happened now on the 1st of June 1961. And then on the 1st of October 1961, this part when now we, the Anglophone part of Cameroon, the Southern Cameroons, it joined, it gained independence by joining the La Republic du Cameroon. So now, 1st of October 1961 to 1962, as an official, or 1972, now the country that, the Federal Republic of Cameroon, one country. So when I see and say, war history, it no be start from 1961. We don't be now one country under the Germans. Now the British, they can't separate we. The British and the French, they can't separate we. Now what that will happen? And now why that way till today for Cameroon with the celebrate 11th of February? 11th of February now what we call and say youth day. Because now that day, we know they just celebrate. Say we are brothers them. Say we will vote for go join our brothers them across the Mongo for Form 1 Cameroon. But we will lost our brothers them for Northern Cameroons. Now what that way 11th February be all about? So when I don't understand now why way the map of Cameroon, it don't change over the century. In the past 120 years, the map of Cameroon, it don't change about six different times. I hope so when I understand that one. Now, make we go now. So when I don't hear about all of that, when I don't read the resolution for ourselves, and any person will want further information, if you go to www.countrypeople.com forward slash resolution 1608, then now, now the polling now the polling card that this document when I see I'm now it actually be now a document where it come out from the 11th of February 1961 the Southern Cameroon's plebiscite. Now in that where they be tell what, what, what grandparents say what you say if you the the green box if you put your card inside the green box means what you wish to achieve independence by joining the Independent Federation of Nigeria. You cast your ballot for day. Or you choose another white box. We say with you. Do you wish to gain independence by joining the independent Republic of Cameroon? You want to understand, say, by this date, 11th of February 1961, both Cameroon, the French controlled part of Cameroon, they don't gain independence. And the, and the English controlled part of Nigeria, uh, 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 the Federal Republic of Nigeria, they don't gain independence. Uh, the La Republic of Cameroon gained independence on, uh, on the 1st of January 1960. And then on the first of Ju um, first of October, nineteen sixty. Now for there when Nigeria gained independence, Nigeria gained independence six months after Cameroon. So now, eleventh of February, nineteen sixty one. Now for there now we we'll get this plebiscite. Now why did they ask if one j j vote for the green box for join Nigeria or the white box for join Cameroon? Well, Grandpa they vote majority for join Cameroon. They choose now the white box. No one understand that fact, that reality. No man no fit change that history for we. So when you tell Amber Food, they start vexed. But now the truth is that say a day so while grandpa they be vote. They be vote. So now, now the question is because as I tell you now, I don't give part of this presentation before. So December 2019. The people the way the Amber Fools, the way they always talk today, so we don't get one independence. Just ask them a few of these basic questions, then you can see and say this, so the argument it will fall apart. Me, the born mina for Momo, 
before I continue, I be one hundred percent born and bred Anglophone Cameroonian. So me when I know things today, so I be some Francophone or Sardinian or whatever nonsense when I always talk about. But when I ask the people there, they don't always talk today, so they begin independence for nineteen sixty one. When I ask them, say what? Say where to be be the name of an independent country for nineteen sixty one. Since when I say when I gain independence on the 1st of October 1961, on the 2nd of October 1961, which will be the name of my country? On the 2nd of October 1961, on the, or on the Independence Day itself, 1961, now which flag will I be hoisted them up for celebrating our independence? Who will be our first head of state on that 1st of October 1961? Now which national anthem will I be singing that will I be hoisted that flag for 1961 on the day of our independence? Now, which other international territory or international organization or any other nation will be recognized when say when I be independent country? When I be get embassies, diplomatic missions for any other country, because now so they take for recognize you. When I be join any international organization like the United Nations, like ECOWAS, like the Organization of African Unity, when I be join any international organization, since when I say when I don't be independent. So I beg, may when I stop. The lies. Common sense is no common. When I stop for the talk, lies. The truth, na say we will gain independence by joining. So now, Resolution 1608, it be mentioned the United Nations Article 76B. Now, the article that, I don't simplify them for when I'm a country people, but any person where you want to download the article, you go online. Now, the URL that in blue. Now, the web link that for any person where a want for download the article is itself for read them. Now, in that, go for them. My leave them on the screen. When I see them, fine. For you, where you know if you read them. If you see them, read them, fine. Now, the URL that. If you click on the URL, it will take you go, you go download this document where they show you now. I don't simplify them small, but the part where you will be interested in. Now, that part that will say with you. Because, like they talk, now, uh, Article 76B, right? Part 2D. Now you talk about termination of the trusteeship agreement with regard to the Cameroons under the UK administration. Now in that, it starts from here where I don't mark that star. Any person will want to read them, make it go, go read them. But I could just brush over for one of my country people then. Because I like Una plenty. If Una get any questions, Una, una leave them down in the comment section. I go check them in a minute. And then I go see, I go answer Una questions them if we get time. So now it said termination of the trusteeship agreement with regard to the Cameroons under United Kingdom administration. The General Assembly by Resolution 1350 recommended that separate plebiscites should be held under the supervision of the United Nations in the northern and the southern Cameroons under UK administration to ascertain the wishes of the inhabitants concerning their future, it recommended that the plebiscite in the northern part should take place in November 1959 and that the following questions be put to the people. A. Do you wish the northern Cameroons to be part of northern region of Nigeria when the Federation of Nigeria becomes independent? Okay, now that part is I say I can't explain them. So now, in November 1959, before Nigeria gained independence, before Cameroon gained independence, the people of the northern, of the British northern Cameroons, they get a plebiscite. They ask them these two questions. Do you wish the northern Cameroons to be part of the northern region of Nigeria when the Federation of Nigeria becomes independent? Because at this time, Nigeria will not be independent. Or B. Are you in favor of deciding the future of the Northern Cameroons at a later date? Now, the two questions that would be asked them for the referendum, or for the plebiscite. In 1959, at that time, we, the British Southern Cameroons, would not be getting no plebiscite. Now, why that way the Northern Cameroons they began at two plebiscites? So now, with respect to the southern part of the, of the territory, the Assembly recommended that the plebiscite should be held during the next dry season, between the beginning of December 1959 and the end of April 1960. It decided, however, that the alternative to be put to the people and the qualifications for voting should be considered at its 14th session and hoped that 
all concerned in the territory would try to reach agreement on those questions before the session. Someone understands it is so. Uh, uh, Foncha and even in Delhi, they be play a part. They be been at the petitioners in in the decisions in the questions the way they will pose them in that plebiscite. A plebiscite in the northern part of Cameroon accord, um, accordingly took place under the supervision of the United Nations on the seventh of November, nineteen fifty nine. Two months before the French part of Cameroon gained independence, the United Nations Plebiscite Commissioner reported to the Trusteeship Council at its 10th special session that almost 88% of the registered voters had voted and that of, the, of those, 60, of those 62% were in favor of deciding the future of the Northern Cameroons at a later date. So now, about 88% of those people, the way they will be registered for vote, they vote. And out of those who vote, 62%, they say, no, we don't want to decide our future yet. We will decide them at a later date. Because they will give them option, whether they want to join Nigeria on the same day when Nigeria gain independence, or they will, gain, or they will or decide at a later date. The population, the vote say, no, we will, we will decide at a later date. So now the commissioner stated that he was satisfied that the plebiscite had been conducted by the administering authority with efficiency and impartiality and had been held in an atmosphere of freedom. He also commented that it would appear that the majority of the voters had made use of the opportunity afforded by the plebiscite to register what was, in effect, a protest vote against the system of local administration prevailing in the northern Cameroons. The Trusteeship Council, by Resolution 2007, decided to forward the report to the General Assembly. At the 14th century, blah, 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 blah. If now one read them, I don't show now. We we'll have to go get the document. But now, paragraph 89 talks about it. say, with regard to the Southern Cameroons, the uh, uh, statements made in the 14th committee by representatives of the administering authority and by the premier of the Southern Cameroons, John Go Foncha, and the leader of the opposition of the Southern Cameroons House of Assembly, Dr. Endele indicated that the parties concerned had not been able to reach agreement on the alternatives to, the, to be put in the plebiscite or on the qualifications for voting. The Premier and his party wanted the Southern Cameroons to be, sep to be separated from the Federation of Nigeria and the future of the territory determined at a later date. Furthermore, they maintained that only native-born inhabitants should take part in any plebiscite. The leader of the opposition, Endele, and his party considered that the choice should be between continuing as an autonomous or self-governing region in an independent federation of Nigeria or secede from Nigeria to effect unification with the Republic of Cameroon, formerly under the French administration. The franchise, he argued, should include Nigeria and French Cameroon inhabitants of the territory. I hope someone understand. And the late talks it is so. Either we will form part of Nigeria as an independent or a, a, a state under Nigeria, and if we want to say it is so, when they want to go vote, make people them way uh, uh, um, the Nigeria and the French inhabitants of that territory. So if you've been a person where you've been a Francophone Cameroonian where they inside the Anglo in, inside the Southern Cameroons, or you've been a Nigerian person where you live inside Cameroons, you should also get the right to vote. Now what's that way endlessly talk? Why way Foncha? But all of the be agree say they so may they postpone the plebiscite to a later date. But when I understand say subsequently, however, the premier, which is uh, John Gu Foncha, and the leader of the opposition Endele issued an agreement or an agreed statement to the effect that, subject to the agreement of the General Assembly, no plebiscite should be held in the Southern Cameroons in 1960, and that, pending settlement of, the, of its future, the Southern Cameroons should continue to be administered under the trusteeship agreement, but should be separated from the Federal Republic of Nigeria. No later than the 1st of October 1960, when the Federation would become independent, the wishes of the people as to their future should be ascertained in 1962. 
and the trusteeship agreement should be terminated no later than the 26th of October 1962. So now, what is that way? Both Endele and Foncha, they be agree. They be proposed to the United Nations, say they so. They don't want to decide their future yet. They want to make the trusteeship agreement, make Britain a continue to rule the British Southern Cameroons till October 1962. He said they don't want for whole no plebiscite in 1960. The one who made a plebiscite, it happened around 1962. Made the, made the trusteeship agreement continue to 1962. Okay, but there's a reason why that one never happened when I hear. During the ensuing discussions, it was pointed out that implement, implementation of the statement would give rise to many difficulties. Under the terms of the trusteeship agreement, the territory constituted a single entity. Someone understands that the single entity where they talk about now the British Cameroons. The, the, the trusteeship agreement where United Nations will be entered with the Brit the, with the British government now with one territory where they call and say the British Cameroons. Now now Britain, if we take the British Cameroons, it divide them into two. It get the British Northern Cameroons and the British Southern Cameroons. Now, in order for terminate that trusteeship agreement. It could terminate both the agreement for the British Cameroons, not just the agreement with the British Northern Cameroons. So the, the agreement, the trusteeship agreement where they get them with the United Kingdom, they begin to terminate them either once and for all, or they don't terminate them at all. So now, Southern Cameroons, the, the British Northern Cameroons, if they don't make their decision clear, say so they could decide at a later date. Now, the day where they be want to terminate the British Northern Cameroons, if you ready. For enter their plebiscite for decide their future. The British Southern Cameroons, it don't, don't be ready. They will talk now, say they want to extend until 1962. So now the United Nations talks today, so it not will be possible because if the Northern Cameroons they vote, they decide now, say they want to be independent by joining, it no matter whether they join Nigeria or they join Cameroon, on that date where they vote, they go start the process for terminate the trusteeship agreement where United Kingdom get them over the territory. And, they terminate, and when they terminate that trusteeship agreement, it will terminate not just the British Northern Cameroons, it will terminate the agreement for the British Southern Cameroons as well because now one entity, now a single entity where they enter that agreement, that trusteeship agreement with, now one entity, no be two. So now to decide the future of one part while leaving that of another to a much later date might set a dangerous precedent you get legal difficulties might also arise since if one part of the territory ceased to be under the trusteeship, then either the trusteeship agreement which applied to the whole of the territory would have to be amended or it would have to be terminated and a new agreement be drawn up just for the Southern Cameroons. And the United Nations never get that time for draw up a brand new agreement just for the Southern Cameroons. Now, why that will talk so witty? Furthermore, the General Assembly had already decided at its 14th session that a plebiscite was to take place in the Southern Cameroons and that the questions to be put and the qualifications for voting were to be decided at that current session. So now, we don't come for this current session. We don't already decide, say, it is so. We we'll go hold plebiscite. We don't already decide the date for, where, for hold the plebiscite. And we don't already decide the... the, the uh, all of that thing. Now, the only thing where we can can discuss about now the questions where we will put them for that plebiscite and the qualifications for voting. Now, what is that we can can discuss them? Meanwhile, Endele and Foncha they talk say no, we never yet agree, and will not be prepared for hold the plebiscite. So they talk say postponement of the plebiscite would therefore involve revision. Of the General Assembly decision, so they get to revise the previous the previous decision where United Nations began. Them. So it will bring too many confusion. Now for that way, the talk says subsequently, the fourth committee approved by a roll call vote of seventy four to none. So it means say wait, two people they be be absent out of the seventy four countries then where they be there present for that fourth committee. All of them, they vote say wait, Say a draft resolution which the premier and the leader of the opposition, Endele and Foncha of the Southern Cameroons, said they would accept as a compromise. So now they draft a, res a resolution, Endele accept them, Foncha accept them as a compromise. It was then later adopted at the General Assembly 
uh, as resolution 1352. By that resolution, the assembly decided that the arrangements for the plebiscite referred to in resolution 1350 should begin on the 30th of September 1960 and that the plebiscite itself should be concluded not later than March 1961. Now the resolution that way they agreed to. Endele he agreed to. Foncha he agreed to as a compromise. Now yeah. They accept them as a compromise. So now, because they have been said they even want to hold this plebiscite now for 1960, Endele and Foncha now they push them to 1961 as a compromise. Now, why that way the plebiscite be hold now for the 11th of February 1961? It recommended that the two questions to be put at the plebiscite should be A. Do you wish to achieve independence by joining the Independent Federation of Nigeria or B? Do you wish to achieve independence by joining the Independent Republic of Cameroon? Because at this time, Nigeria don't become independent. Cameroon don't become independent. It also recommended that only persons born in the southern Cameroons or one of whose parents was born in the southern Cameroons should vote in the plebiscite. So now, Fon Chabi talks say, men now only native born people, then. people the way they born them inside Northwest and Southwest, may they vote for that plebiscite. In the Lebi talks say, no, may they include people the way they all my way they live inside the British Southern Cameroons, may they vote. So whether you be Nigerian, where you live inside Cameroons, may you vote. If you be Francophone man, where they live inside Cameroon, may you vote. Now, what did that end the Lebi talk? But Foncha said, no, me not only native born, where you mean say, if they no born you inside the British Southern Cameroon, you don't get right for vote. As a compromise, now which that way the commission it be recommend say only people the way they born them inside southern Cameroons or <clears throat> if they be born your papa inside southern Cameroons. Wait, means say wait. If you be Nigerian, they born you for Nigeria, but they born your papa inside British Southern Cameroons, you be get right for vote. If they, they, they born you for Francophone side of Cameroon, but they born your papa inside the British Southern Cameroons, then you be get right to for vote. So now the conditions that way they be put up. It be clear. They be consider a lot of things that finally the assembly recommended that the administering authority when the United Kingdom, in consultation with the government of the Southern Cameroons, when a foncha, should take steps to implement and this to implement the separation of the administering the administration of the Southern Cameroons from that of Federal of the Federation of Nigeria. No later than the 1st of October 1960. So, by the 1st of October 1960, Foncha, it began to separate, move the government out of Nigeria. Now, what that will happen? So, now will nobody be administered as part of Nigeria. One of the reasons why, now, because uh, by the 1st of October 1960, Nigeria is ceased to become a British territory. It gained independence, it achieved independence on the 1st of October 1960. So now, the British Southern Cameroons could not be part of Nigeria after the 1st of October 1960 because Nigeria now been a, a, an independent country. So now, why that? French and movie government, everything. They wait now till the 11th of February 1961 for we now for decide for our own future whether we want to join Nigeria back or join Cameroon back. So now, the document that any person where he want to read them. I don't show you, I'm not showing you the link again. What's that way if you go download the document? Now the link that, you download this document. Now article 76B and C and D serve of the United Nations where they talk specifically about the termination of the trusteeship agreement with regards to the Cameroons under UK administration. Now the document that, my contributor them. So now my contributor them. I will give you now my own thoughts and conclusions on the United Nations resolution before I wrap up the presentation. So, this UN resolution 1608, it literally been now the marriage certificate, as I don't really tell you now. Now, the marriage certificate between West Cameroon and East Cameroon. East Cameroon being a former French territory, West Cameroon, former British territory, where they call and say Southern Cameroons. It will be very important, this document. <laughs> now, this same document, where if any person, he read them and understand them, 
Ego no se Cameroon it be one and indivisible. You go know why all Anglophone intellectuals them they don't read this document and they know one. They know it for a fact, say they so. Based on this resolution 1608 Cameroon, it be one and indivisible. Nijo Frunti, no one. Dr. Munzu, no one. Even Agbobala, no one. Even from Goji Dinka, when he give this name, say Ambazonia. He no one. He don't read this document from A to Z, cover to cover. They know very well and they understand this document. Even all the Amba fools them. Now they realize some. Say this document, it be bulletproof. As far as Cameroon be concerned, now one Cameroon be concerned. And now why that way when I know we hear, they go always tell when about resolution 1608, 1608, but you know who ever see the post time? What are now Eric Tato? On a Mark Barretta? On a any of the Amber Fools them? When I know who ever see, they go find that document, can't post them. When I know who ever see them. They prefer to go read them, then can misinterpret them for una. For full una. But we don't show una the document. I don't show una the link. We have to go get the document. When I go get on ourselves, now read them. Now why that way Ambazonia don't like education? They don't like when you feel go read for yourself, you find out the information. Now why that they don't say me picking they don't go to school? This document be bulletproof. All who are elites them for Anglophone Cameroon. They know them. They don't read them. They see them say Cameroon be one and indivisible. While grandpa they begin at two choices for get independence by joining Nigeria or get independence by joining Cameroon. We no be get a third choice. Any person we want argue them now. If you talk today, so why I may, why United Nations? Let me give me option number three. I don't know. Me, I don't know. Me too, I'll be one option number three. But the truth now, we will not be get time. We will not be get option number three. I don't show on a document where NDL be there for day. Front it be there for day. UK be there for day. Cameroon be there for day. France be there for day. All other United Nations countries be there for day. They be give we now two questions. Front be get opportunity for us for option number three. And let me get the option for us for option number three for total independence. They ask them, they deny for whatever reason, I don't know. But the truth now, say they be give we now two options. I want grandpa, they be take the lesser of two evils. Now, the truth that because me, I prefer me for be Cameroonian than Nigeria. Okay, ma continue. The question now, it be say with you. Now we don't ascertain, we know for the fact that Cameroon are one and indivisible country. The question we were supposed to ask ourselves, Nana, how for govern that one country? Ayijo and Foncha, they enter inside federal system, say West Cameroon, East Cameroon, the Federal Republic of Cameroon. They go now, they change constitution for 1972, they make them into the United Republic of Cameroon, and then now into what we call them, say, uh, the Republic of Cameroon. Many people, they get problems now from that changing of the federal system to a unitary system, a unitary government. And they get every right. As long as they recognize the Cameroon as one country, they get every reason, every right for complain about the governance of the country. Now, one country. Now, people, the day where they, call, they prefer the federation, which is their right, like Agbo Bala, he get every right for prefer federation or whatever, any other uh, federalist, he therefore they... Now you're right. You get right for, for, for get opinion about how your country be run. Some people, they say special status where it just grant greater autonomy to the Northwest and the Southwest region. The special status is still loading. Before I continue, make a talk some more about the special status. Now I feel, I feel remember. We there now, now for October, October the 6th, 2020. The Grand National Dialogue, it behold. Now, October 2019. It ends now on the 4th of October 2019. So it don't just make up exactly one year since the Grand National Dialogue behold. People the day where they don't they ask, they say, Yeah, but uh, Grand National Dialogue now since last year, now one year today. Uh, wait, what are the fruits of the national dialogue? Where are the results of the national dialogue? People they don't talk that one. Make a remind you now something. National dialogue finish October 2020, uh, 2019. Barely three or four months later, what am I saying? Barely two months later, coronavirus is start for China. Two months after that, we will get the twin election. Moon, I don't forget. 
We will get uh, parliamentary and municipal elections for Cameroon for February 2020. Immediately after the election finished by March, the whole world it entered global lockdown because of this coronavirus pandemic. Okay? That, that lockdown, it lasts since March. The lockdown, the only is the restriction for the lockdown. Now, for this August, we pass through. So, we we'll get the whole March, April, May, June, July, August. Six months where the whole world, not only Cameroon, no, the whole world don't be in lockdown. So, since the national dialogue, it behold, we will get now only two months, we we'll get election. After that election, we we'll go into six months of lockdown. After that lockdown, we don't get now how many months? About two months since we come out of that lockdown, the, the ease of the restrictions. So, when I wait, when I say this, so the, the national dialogue, the special status, the this and that, where are the results? The, my question I go ask when I say, how the for implementer, when, what's the time, the money and everything it come out for don't implement the special status in the past 12 months? When we, first of all, six months, we spend them in lockdown and quarantine. Schools, they nobody go. Hospitals themselves, they nobody see patients then. People then say they know if you work and go see their, their, their family members then. They want to be expect say meetings of a whole how. We for move all the governors them, all the SDOs and the DOs them, and all the government delegates them. Elect our own officials them, councillors and all of those things them. During coronavirus season. We want to be wanting to implement the special status now how. Not to mention we prepare for African Nations Cup as only healthy goody. It don't remind me. African Nations Cup, we get to hold now this way, Paso. And then now we get the Chan 2021 competition where they come. It is the start in the next uh, uh, three or four months. Okay. But Ma continue. So now, the fact it remains a witty. The Ambazonian misinformation and the lies where they don't they talk him. It don't be not the worst thing that don't ever happen inside Cameroon. Me personally, I believe, say, we. As Anglophone Cameroonians, then we for gain a lot, a lot more without Ambazonia. By now, so we for not even get even at our federation when I want to say we for not get them. By now, so if the government for Cameroon be prepared for 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 give special status, I know they don't call and say federation, but not just federation. If we want another federation, we forget them. If we not be resolved to self destruction in the name of Ambazonia. If the protest then for 2016, it just continue as a protest where it be 100% de dedicated for solve the problems, what problems as Cameroonians, we will not achieve more. We will pay a very, very tiny price and we will get the biggest reward ever. But look at us now. Look, see what's out there now. We don't swallow poison, expect different man for dying. If we would get an agenda for fix our country, if we don't make a lot of gains, even federation being as small things that we don't achieve and since, but instead we decide for carry chaka from Kredar gone, we fall for bush, we destroy ourselves. Even the small one will get them, the small roads, the small schools, the small hospitals that we get them, we'll burn them down in the name of Amber. May we take all that revolutions the way they don't ever happen. I'll give you a small example in a while. But any revolution we don't ever succeed, they will be designed for solve problems and not for cause problems. Any revolution where it don't ever succeed, the revolution will get good leadership. The revolution, the revolution it will get grassroots support, and the revolution it will get international support. No revolution, no fit support without your own people. Them they support them. Enough, it, enough it succeed without international support. Enough you succeed where we don't get leadership. Eh? Sarko the go that side, they drag the own go that side. Ayabacho the drag and the go that side. Uh, Yerima the drag and the go that side. Ayuktabi the drag and go that side. You get you get uh, 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 some other non entities them like Eric Tato too. He, he, he call himself leader too for the revolution. He get on side where one drag and go. And then you know, forget that Bunga man, Akwanga. He get on side where one drag and go. Now we na Ambazonia that. You know, get leadership. Or maybe you get too many leaders. And then instead of the solve problems, they the cause problem that cause them. Burning of schools, stopping picking them in the no-go school, digging up of roads. Eh, eh, amba. Caught picking their hands then. 
Grassroots. Now the community is them. They don't need cash. The Amber boys them now. Go hand them over to the military. Congratulations, Amber. International support. Amber get zero. Zero. I mean, say not even NGO <laughs> except for Ambazuna Foundation Inc. Where them sister the creator. Not even NGO. No support them. No. So now, my give an example. I like for talk with facts and evidence and examples. We we'll take the example of South Sudan. They will get one good leader. His name is John Gerang, PhD holder, professional military man. He be the fight for fix their country, Sudan. He no be the fight for separate their country. Separation was not the main goal of their struggle. The Sudan People's Liberation Army, the SPLA. When I look at them, now what is that way they recall their 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 fight the uh, army? <clears throat> They call them the Sudan People's Liberation Army, SPLA. No, be not South Sudan People's Liberation Army. No, Sudan People's Li Liberation Army. Now, what is that they call them? They will campaign for a united Sudan. They will criticize their central government for their for policies the way they will lead to national disintegration. Instead, the SPLA, they will talk say they so hang on. This government for Khartoum, it will try to divide we. We don't want these policies the way they divide our country. They will fight for unite Sudan. Now, what is that what John Geran and the South Sudan struggle it will be about? But they fight that war for 22 years. And after 22 years, they will get too much bad blood amongst them where they just decide, say, that way they will go for that, which they call and say the comprehensive peace agreement. Part of that comprehensive peace agreement, they will talk, say, no, maybe we give our people them referendum. Maybe what people they decide whether we still want to keep this union or we want to go our separate ways. So now they end the war, they get a peace agreement. It takes them five years for even get the referendum. They're still there together as one country for five years. And then now, now, after one more year, the sixth year where they plan the referendum, now they get the referendum. And then after six years of the ending of the war, now for them now South Sudan it becomes the newest country in the world. Maybe we'll not even talk about how they will come now, they start fight amongst themselves. But now what did that will happen? Now the process that for South Sudan for become independent. They not be the fight now for create an independent country. They will fight now for unify their country instead. And yes, South Sudan will get good leader, John Garan. It be the fight for unite their country. It be get the support of every person inside the country. And they be get international support from Uganda, from Kenya, from other countries the way they did around South Sudan, where they be support them. Even internationally, they be get support for machinery, equipment, food supplies, and whatnot. I don't already do a presentation about South Sudan. If we go for our country people page for Facebook, channel our country people channel for YouTube, when I go see I'm a day for day. So now, we will take the other example where Amber Fools did always quote them. I bring these three examples then for South Sudan, South Africa, and uh, African Americans. Then. Because say, that the same examples, and these are these fools that always quote, quote them for bamboozle wuna and mislead wuna. The lies the way Amber they talk them. So now, the example for South Africa, they will get good leaders. Person like Nelson Mandela, you get Walter Sisulu, you get Oliver Tambo. Good leaders, them educated people the way they behold their revolution and they be the fight now for fix South Africa. They nobody the fight for divide their country, my country people. They be the fight for solve their problems inside their country. They nobody the fight for divide and they don't get incremental gains that lasted over three decades. Even Nelson Mandela himself be there for prison for how long? 27 years. Come on for day. How long it take it before it get the power the, before now they get transitional government now before the ANC take over president Nelson Mandela become president from prison to president after Nelson Mandela you get Tabon Becky and then you get uh, uh, this guy we did for dinner now where to be in himself Zuma Jacob Zuma yes they be fighting for fix their country and they get international support and every single black person inside South Africa, it be support South Africa revolution. Every single one. All the black South Africans, they be support them. And then all the neighboring countries, they be support the black South Africans. Then. All of our Africa be support them. Now, why that way, South Africa no be fit even play African Nations Cup. South Africa will be banned for take part in any international organization or international competition because of that apartheid regime.
Now, why that way they win? It still take them how long? 30 plus years. Until today, the uh, black South Africans, they, they are still fighting. The, you get what they call them, the economic freedom, the economic, um, uh, what they call them, BEE, -E, the black economic empowerment, where it go on and the um, ways for, for, for improve uh, uh, black African, uh, South Africans, their, their economic wealth and all, of, all those things, their struggle is still going. No mean I say don't end. Now, maybe we we'll go for America. What's our way, Eric Tato and the Amber Fools that they, they recite? The African Americans, they nobody fight for divide America. Their struggle, it don't last more than 400 years from the first time they were one African slave in land for America. Now, for they, the African American, their struggle start more than 400 years ago, and the struggle, it continue today. They don't make now incremental gains, incremental gains. They don't get leaders, strong, good leaders from Martin Luther to Malcolm X. They don't come, they go. They don't get even the first African-American president for America. It still no solve their problems. Every day they are still fighting for what they call them, a more perfect union. Why we too for Cameroon, we know we fight for a more perfect union with our brothers across the Mongo. Across the Mongo. We are Francophone brothers, then we are Bamleke brothers, then we are Basa brothers, then we are Douala brothers, then we are Fulani, Hausa brothers, then. Eh? Wambororo brothers them. Why would not we fight for a more perfect union with Wabulu Beti brothers them? Why would not we fight for a more perfect union with Wa Ewondo, Bakosi, all kind, uh, Basal, all kind, the other one, the Manu Momo, Bui. All our brothers them will fight for a more perfect union like the African Americans that they do. Today, as I speak, black Americans they day on the streets. With which way they call them Black Lives Matter, they are still fighting for a more perfect union for America. 400 years later, they are still fighting for their lives. They still say, wait, black man in life, no matter for America. Even after they don't get an African American president, Martin Luther come, they assassinate them. Malcolm X come, they assassinate them. Abri said they go assassinate uh, President Barack Obama. African Americans they fight now for fixed problems inside their country. Now why that they get international support? Now why that where every single African American is support Black Lives Matter, is support their, their struggle, and it still take, it don't take them four hundred years plus, and they are still fighting today. So even if we get the federation to, tomorrow, nothing say go end. We still continue for the fight for a more perfect union with our brothers across the Mongo. Yes. That is the process. You will not believe me. Go ask them. The first time we African in land for America, they drag in a drag them in chains. It start fight for your life. It start fight for your rights. Today, as I speak, more than 400 years later, they are still fighting for what they call them, say, a more perfect union. The Amber Fools, they woke up, they say, what? <laughs> um, since 19, 1962 or 1961, we don't like we wait where they do. We must divide, we must divide, we must divide. Division, no matter the answer. If we will just stick to fighting for fix the problems in like Cameroon, we will not make a lot of gains. All our beautiful schools, there. first of all, we are picking them for the golden school. We will invest. Just imagine if the efforts... Where these amber foods that use them for diaspora for destroy our communities. If we will put them for build our communities, if we will raise that that two million for my trip to Boya, say we'll go build the best hospital in Africa inside Bamenda or inside Ndop or inside uh, uh, Mafe or inside uh, Boya or for Limbe and Kambe or for Batibo. If we will decide we we'll put two million francs US. Two million US dollars they would want to build the best hospital inside Africa, inside the Anglophone zone. We'll raise our money for diaspora. We'll, we'll tell our country people them. They contribute the money they put down for one place. We'll bring the best equipment. Then we'll build our hospital or road or any anything. They will build the best university inside Africa. We'll not for do one for educate our people them. But instead, they raise all that money so that Mr. Ko Ekome, if you ride inside nice motor, sleep for fine hotel. A drive moto, uh, um, a chop red lobster. 
Now wait it that way, they raise other money, they channel them too. And some of that chicken change, they send them to brothers, they buy, check out from they gun uh, bullets them, can't kidnap, we poor mommy there for ransom, destroy our roads, hospitals, schools, we begin not to go for school, and all of those. Now wait it that way, Ambazonia, it don't give we. We, as Anglophones then, we need to understand, say, the Anglophone crisis now a jiga, now a small jiga for the toe of the United Nations. They get bigger problems for solving. And this Amazonian self inflicted suffering, where would they in? Now we will start them. We, the Anglophone Cameroonian, now we will start them and now we will go in them. Only we Cameroonians will feel resolve this problem. Now, why that we even the United Nations Secretary, a look at a sorry we, a give President probably a $10 million, $10 million in a chicken change for United Nations. A give President probably a $10 million, say go hold national dialogue. Uh, grant them special status or whatever you want to do when I go solve our problems. I have bigger fish to fry. Now, what's it that way? Antonio Guterres, don't tell them. People that like Nijon Frundi, they don't tell these Amber Fools them, say, they don't enter inside every office where they think say they fit go. Nijon Frundi don't talk face to face with the President of the United States. Eh? Nijon Frundi don't talk face to face with the United Nations Secretary General. What are not the old one? What are not uh, Kofi Annan? Where be being an African man? It don't help you for that one. He don't talk to the other one, Ban Ki Moon. He don't help you. Antonio Guterres. Need your friend to get their numbers. If you call them anytime, they will pick them. Ambazonian and self destruction. Need your friend Even uh, from Goji Dinka, they don't enter inside all these offices. Them. What are now the United Nations office? Now, parliamentarians, maybe uh, 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 from Goji Dinka, maybe they are for London. Even an uh, MP, parliamentarian for England, he thinks they don't even in, in, in write them letters, other kind of things. Them. They ignore we when it comes to this Anglophone crisis because Resolution 1608, a clearly statement for they say Cameroon, now one and indivisible. United Kingdom, one come on for Cameroon, a run, a run, it no be get what time. They run, they check out, and they no ever one come back. If we want to reach for them, we want to start killing ourselves, we want to fight for the independence, we want to gain them, we want to decide how we want to rule in our country. He no get nothing for do with any person for England. Make una check sense and understand that one. But I bring una good news, my country people. The good news na say We get the DDR process with the mash fire. And we don't, we don't see the results. The result itself na say Many of the boys, they don't drop their guns then. Many of them, they don't run. They did Nigeria. They don't run. They did Gabon, Congo, Ghana, everywhere else. A few days ago, I listened to an audio where one of the Amber Fools, he said, he recorded them. He talks about it. Say, more than 80% of the Amber Boys, when they come out for Ground Zero, they enter inside Nigeria, they know they return back for Ground One. No, to, to, they don't return back to Ground Zero. Now, what did I say? They talk. When I know that they inside their forums, say more than eighty percent when they reach for Nigeria, they go back. Now he talk, no be me. Now the truth and the reality that as a result, many of our communities are now they don't gain freedom. Many of our communities now they, now they catch amber, go give Cameroon military. Now the reality that DDR process it didn't work. Special status it didn't load. I don't already explain for now why it be delayed. Why it don't take one year? But then again. President Paul Biya don't sign the crusade, day, so they go hold the uh, the uh, uh, regional council elections for December 2020, which is in about two and a, two months and a bit or whatever. So now, now what is that we day? Now some of the fruits in that for the special status and the national dialogue, I mean. And then you get reconstruction, which is already on the way. Other councils, them like Muyuka City Council, it don't already put out communicate. And they ask for. People, the way they come up from that locality, may they start put in application forms. If your house, any property, whether a business or whatever, it will be vandalized, looted, burned down, totally destroyed or partially destroyed. During this Anglophone crisis from December 2016 till today, you fill the application form, you go ask your local authorities, ask the local mayors. Contact their offices, no contact me. Me, I know they work for Cameroon government. Because I will get that information, I send it out. 
Some people they start message me, they ask me, say, country man, how me I go say, I be get some bar from Muyuka, I be get my house from Muyuka, the Amber boy, they can't burn my house, this is military, they shoot my house, or whatever, whatever. People they message me, I ask, they ask me, my duty. Me I look like mayor from Muyuka for your eye. Me I be messenger, I just bring the message, I can't tell you, say, mayor from Muyuka don't talk, say, if your property be destroyed, contact ye for put in your bid so that when they start, uh, 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 um, they assess the, the reconstruction and whatever, the budget and, and whatnot, they will consider your own property too. And then you will call the message, I don't get the information. I just take the information, I forward and I forward and me, I don't know the rest. Muyuka City Council, surely they get website, surely they get telephone number, surely they get office on the ground. If you, you know, they're on the ground, you they abroad, they burn your business or your property. Your family members, they surely they on the ground. Send them, me they go talk to the authorities, they will get the rightful information. Me, I not get the information. I know the work for Cameroon government. I beg on my country people. Me, I know they contact me for ask information where I clearly know who I have to go get the authentic information. Yes. I go send you the letter where it clearly get the letter head for Muyuka Council. Then you ask me. Nobody you see I'm the right of the Muyuka Council. It get office. Nobody you see I'm the right hand for the telephone number. No ask me, I beg, ask not them. So now what did I bring Afghan tell you today, my country people? Say, the United Nations Resolution 1608, now the marriage certificate, now the marriage certificate that, where it joined both the, Fr the French-speaking part of Cameroon and the English-speaking part of Cameroon. Now the marriage certificate that, and any person where he ever asks you anything about resolution, uh, about resolution 1608, share ye a link to this live broadcast where we hold them today, Tuesday, the 6th of October 2020. Once again, I apologize for coming late for this presentation, but I want to thank all our contributors that don't share. When I know the usual target for country people, we need at least 1,000 shares. When I match fire my country people, when I match fire for the share, I want to appreciate Charles Ngote, when I top sharer today. We also get Bakala CFA, I see you, Best Song Sharon, Na Ambafu, no worry, we know how to deal with you. Peace, re, re, uh, re, Peace Regina, I don't know how to pronounce your name. I see you too. We see Kame Patri. We see all our country people then. We are not argue with Amber Fool because at the end of this live broadcast, we are just pinpoint it for me. Just say country people and Amber Fool this. And then I go block uh, and ban the Nkunyam. In the Patriots, on our waiting. Yeah. I see Una. Plenty of people they never really ask any questions. But Una Fisi and say, like Morgan Clarkson Morgan talks, say, white man they work now with paper, not a year, say. And that is the truth. And we too will get forget sense. No green, me some person tell you about resolution 1608 for this modern day, for this 2020. Where you get Android phone, you get internet for your hand. Google them. Google United Nations Resolution 1608. Nine that. Just Google them. You will get the exact resolution for yourself. It's shut down. You drink water. You read them for yourself. Digest them. Understand which way they will talk. Maybe that's something will happen for space. I know say it happened more than 50 years ago. But now our history. Shut down. Read them. Read them for Read them for yourself. No green, me no mango read and can't interpret them for you. Now, why that way when me I do this presentation, I not only read them for Una, but I tell Una exactly who have to go get all the documents the way I show Una today. I don't show Una. Now, one of the links that the resolution 1608 itself. Now the link that for any person we want to get them, go to that website, you will see the, the, the resolution 1608 for day. Now in that my country people. So without further ado, some people they don't tell me say I have been a real history teacher. Unfortunately, I don't study history, but when Amber Fools they can't begin to talk this kind of blatant lies, you no go ever, ever see 
any Nkunya we call itself Amber, it, it show you this kind of evidence. It post this kind of fact for you. You know, ever see him? Because they no one accept that history, say it ever exists. Ma go back for they no one accept that history. Say it be ever exist, my country people. They no one accept them. But we must make them, make them understand, say, the history, it be exist. Now the history that, I don't show now. My country people then. Hail, hail, hail the Kumkumasa. We the Cameroonians, we pledge a loyalty. Kumkumasa. Kumkumasa, you shall free your country from terror, and your blessing shall be like the stars above. The Most High God shall be your guide. 